All right, so let me start off by saying I have a little bit of a problem with this question. We're gonna put it aside, I'm gonna talk about it at the end, I'm gonna just teach the question like it's supposed to be taught and how the SAT themselves would probably explain it. So it's very obvious from these answer choices that we are concerned with singulars versus plurals, right? So we need to think, well, is it pronouns? What are we referring to? Because we have to be consistent. So we go back into the sentence and we're like, all right, the violins handmade in the 17th century by Italian craftsman Antonio Stradivari have been celebrated as some of the finest in the world. In close collaboration with musicians, Stradivari introduced changes to the shape of a traditional violin, flattening some of the instrument's curves and making something lighter overall. So what did they make lighter? They made the violin lighter, right? So how many violins? Well, in this case, we're only talking about one, so we need a singular pronoun to match with that. So those is plural, them is plural, so those are going to be wrong. And then one, even though it's singular, would be weird here. Making one lighter overall? Well, it's not just, it's one in the sense that we're talking about a single violin, but it's not a specific single violin. He didn't make just one of the violins lighter. He just made the design of all the violins. So the one doesn't make sense. We're not talking about one specific one. So it is better here. Hopefully you can hear that difference between B and D. So it is the answer. And that's the real answer. Okay, that's the real answer. It is the violin. So there you go. That's what they want, uh, the violin. Okay, now I'm going to rant a little bit about the question. I think it's wrong. I think there's multiple interpretations of this because why are we switching back to the violin, right? It's flattening some of the instrument's curves and I guess what, making the violin, making the instrument lighter overall? Why can't we say it's making the curves lighter overall? It's a little metaphorical, so maybe that's the problem. Because they're like, ah, you can't make a curve lighter. But I would say you could, right? You could have like a, a sharp curve like that. Or you could have like a nice soft curve like that. A lighter curve. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just bothered by it because it feels like we don't, you could say that. Maybe you're not allowed to say a curve is light or heavy, but I think you could. I think an artist could say that he's got light curves and we would be, oh yeah, okay, I know what that means. So that's my problem with it. If that were the case, then we would need a plural. They would make the curves, the them, lighter overall. So choice C would be right in that case. But the real answer is D, I want to stress that, and if you were kind of like me, a little confused by those two, go with the more obvious thing. Uh, I think this applies in reading overall. If you feel like you have to do a lot of work to justify a choice, it's probably wrong. So the work I need to do to pick C here is to interpret the word lighter in a very metaphorical way that is a little unusual, uh, maybe not forbidden, but unusual. Whereas a, a violin can be heavy, it can be light, that just is more normal. And so pick the normal thing, go with the normal interpretation, and don't try to argue with the test. But I just felt like getting that off my chest because it bothered me the first time I did it. And it does go to show that there these are new tests. We do not have necessarily uh, the crisp SAT style that we're used to. So keep that in mind as you practice. Some questions might be a little weird and not reflective of exactly what you'll see on testing.